Ever wonder how AI is being used in e-commerce and how you can use that in your business? Well, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. We all know Jeff Bezos over there with Amazon is completely crushing the e-commerce game. We are talking about total destruction and total domination. So how is AI being used in Amazon? How can we learn from that and apply that to our own little businesses? Let's dive in. Now, before I give you the how, how Amazon uses AI, I'm going to give you the why. Because by giving you guys the why, you'll understand the marketing and the business processes much better and how they use AI to empower those processes and boost them. By using machine learning, Amazon can learn what products do better at certain times. So for example, say it's summertime, you know, winter products aren't going to do as well. So they're gonna try to suppress all of the winter products in their listings and their search results and promote the summer products. That's why this upcoming Black Friday, you're gonna start seeing a whole lot more of electronics deals going on because around Black Friday, people are looking for electronics and cheap electronics. They want deals on electronics. So Amazon is gonna give them that. This plays into consistency bias. When someone is looking for a certain thing, you give them that. If I'm looking for a pepperoni pizza, I don't want to be presented a sausage pizza. I want a pepperoni pizza. Now, that's a very extreme example, but that's exactly Exactly what's happening in most businesses the customer the target audience wants one thing but you're presenting them a whole nother thing that they don't even want and so Amazon uses AI and machine learning to help understand these trends and they can use machine learning to understand who you are so what are your trends if you've searched X Y and Z then you're most likely to want to buy this if you've searched ABC then you're most likely to wanting to buy this and so Amazon uses AI and machine learning to help understand who you are so they can give you more of what you want but they also want to understand the whole trend of the whole market and so they use machine learning and AI to do that so now you're probably wondering okay how do I apply that thing that Amazon is doing to my small business well Here's the thing, you don't need algorithms as complex as Amazon's, but you can use automated A-B testing to help understand who your target audience is better. For example, if you have so many visitors coming to your website, you can A-B test which products do better at a certain time and then start to present those products that do better to the audience. Now, the next way that Amazon uses AI and machine learning in their e-commerce business is for upselling. Upselling is a term in marketing, basically, which means when someone has bought one product, you sell them another one, and then another one, and then another one. It's like you going to the grocery store, and when you're in the grocery line, you know that candy aisle that's right there in front of you? Well, you've already bought so much. Why not buy a whole dollar candy bar? You know, might as well, right? And that's exactly what Amazon tries to do, but for all of its products. Now you're probably wondering, they have a lot of products. How do they know if I brought this product, then I'll want this one as well? Well, that's where machine learning and AI can come into handy. They have algorithms to learn if someone has bought product A and given their search history, they're most likely to buy product B as well. And so they do this for every single person. They have a user profile for you and me, for everyone, to understand if this person has bought this product, then they are very likely to buy this product as well. And so by doing that, they are increasing their up Themselves. This plays into two very key psychological biases. One is reward bias. When you click that buy button, there's a spike of dopamine that happens in your brain because you're about to get something new. You're about to get a package in the mail and you're gonna open it and there's your shiny new object, right? Number two is commitment bias. You've already spent your money, why not spend a little bit more? And so Amazon uses those two key psychological biases to their advantage. And by using AI and machine learning, they can help supercharge this process by knowing exactly which product to advertise for an upsell when this product has been bought. So again, you're probably wondering, how do I apply what Amazon is doing to my own business? Well, if you have a Shopify store, you can start to analyze which products do better as upsells when someone has bought its particular product. For example, let's just say hypothetically that a user comes onto your Shopify website and buys a certain product, let's just say a book. Now, what's related to that book? Could it be another book? Could it be reading glasses? Could it be another product? Well, that's something that you gotta figure out. And so you can use machine learning and AI to help you test these things. If someone has bought this particular product, well, you can take them through an upsell funnel and test out the particular products that you think will do 
well. A particular plugin for Shopify is Beakery. It will allow you to test different products on the checkout page to see which products are related to the product that they are about to buy. And as you get more people to check out through your website, the system will start to get smarter because it will learn if person A is about to buy product A and they're most likely going to buy product B as well. And then show it on the checkout page. But if person A is about to buy product C, then we need to display product D instead. And the machine will start to learn by itself. You don't have to do anything. If you guys want to go check that out, I have a link in the description. Just click on that and go check it out for yourself. And I'm also currently developing a machine learning plugin that will help you learn which products sell better when certain products are being bought. However, the kicker is it's going to go through an upsell funnel as a thank you page funnel. So basically after someone checks out with your website, it will go to a thank you page and that thank you page will have more products that are related to the product that they just bought. And since this is a thank you up sales funnel, it can be tested easily with machine learning. Now I plan to roll this plugin out for Shopify and WordPress. So if you're interested, I'll have a link in the description to that as well. I will notify you guys when it's done. Another way that Amazon uses AI machine learning is through good old email because certain words appeal to certain people and those certain words need to be figured out for those certain people. How do you figure that out? Well, you can use machine learning and AI to figure these things out. For example, the system might learn that older people don't like to be addressed with hey, they like to be addressed with hello and that drives conversions. You'll be surprised. The littlest thing can make the biggest differences in your conversion. And so they use AI and machine learning to test out different pieces of text to see which one starts to drive more conversions based on the metrics of that particular user. And as the system starts to figure out, hey, this piece of text does better than the other one, it's going to start using that more for that particular user and scale it out to the whole audience. So it's like you knowing exactly what to say, when to say, to who to say it to. That's what machine learning and AI is doing for Amazon through their email marketing. Matter of fact, they're even using it to send notifications to you on your phone at the right time. Because we all know there are certain times in our days where we don't want to be disturbed. And there are certain times in our day where we do want to be disturbed and we want to go shopping. And Amazon needs to know exactly when to disturb you, when to notify you to, hey, come back and shop. We got great deals going on. Imagine doing that for the whole Amazon customer base. Wow, that's a lot of people you got to know. The computer can do all of this for you, manage all this stuff. And now you're probably wondering, whoa, how do I use this particular application of AI in my own business? How do I take what Amazon is using and apply it? Well, here's the thing. We all have text on our website. We don't know if that text is the best text. We don't know if it's converting the best. You can use machine learning to help understand if that particular piece of text is doing well and driving conversions. For example, sales. So you can use even the simplest AB automation system and understand which text does better for your target audience. Yes, AB automation testing is a very simple form of machine learning. Now, this last application of AI in Amazon's e-commerce business is a bit granular. It's a bit over the top. However, like I said before, sometimes the, even the smallest things can make the biggest differences. So this is what it is. They can start to use machine learning and AI to help understand where to place a button. Yes, where to place a button because placing a button in the right spot sometimes drives conversions up because maybe you need to put the add to cart button on top of the buy button or maybe you need to put the buy button on top of the add to cart button. Who knows? So Amazon uses machine learning to help do these small things and figure out if there's any incremental changes that they can make to drive up their conversions. So why does this even matter? Because of the unknown. Things out there you don't know about. Maybe because putting the add to cart button on top of the buy now button activates some psychological bias that you weren't even aware of. And so testing these little things can sometimes unlock huge benefits and using machine learning and AI can help you do these things effectively. Now, there is a experimentation platform called Optimizely. I'll have a link in the description. Now, that one is in the affiliate link. Basically, you can use Optimizely to experiment which layouts do better than other ones to drive a certain action. For example, if you're looking for people to click a certain button or join a newsletter, well, you can use the experimentation platform to experiment which version of that same exact copy or button or whatever it is drives more people into your newsletter or whatever action you want them to take. So basically in conclusion, AI can be used in many ways in the e-commerce realm to make more money and make your business 
better. And not only are you guys making more money, but your customers are gonna be even more happy. I mean, look at Amazon. They use so much AI and their customers are amazingly happy. Why is this? Maybe because it's personalization. They get exactly what they want when they want it and they like the platform. Or maybe it's their customer service, or maybe the two day free shipping. Whatever it is, Amazon is using machine learning and AI to boost that process and keep customers happy. Because let's be honest, at the end of the day, what's the point of having a business if you're just ripping off everybody? They're not gonna stay as customers for long anyways. So you might as well give them what they want and make your customers happy. Like Peter Drucker said it the best. He said, the point of a business is to create and retain a customer. You gotta make a customer and you gotta retain them by keeping them happy. A happy customer is the ultimate KPI. Now, if you're looking how to use machine learning and AI in any type of business, not just e-commerce, click this card that's popping up. I made a video about the three categories of machine learning and how you can apply them to any business model and if this video helps you understand how AI is being used in e-commerce and how it can help your business why not drop a thumbs up and comment down below which application of AI do you think you can use in your own e-commerce business I want to hear your guys thoughts and remember on this channel we like to work smarter not just work harder but work smarter than the competition so we can blow them out of the water and if you're all about that life hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know exactly when content drops this is been Sunny Chopper. Peace.